Hello, my name's Mark. Welcome to Living La Dolce Vida. Well, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to my channel, Living La Dolce Vida. Uh, so, find us down the allotment. Another scorching hot day. <laughs> no rain yet. Maybe the rain will be um, this weekend. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's the 7th of June. Now, today's plan is to dig up my garlic. It's a little bit early, really, according to the books. But uh, they obviously use a, a catch all phrase depending on the season, is when you harvest it. And of course, uh, condition of the tops. Uh, which I'll hopefully explain shortly. So obviously here's my garlic. Uh, I've already dug up a couple of um, bulbs just to see what they're looking like. And in fairness, they're not too bad. Uh, getting the getting the clove demarcation. So they've obviously, you know, split up into individual clothes now inside. So I thought it might as well, like the tops are really dry, it's dry weather. So I thought I'd take advantage of clearing the bed now. Uh, get the weed out as much as I can, ready for the next crop. Uh, which will be, um, no, according to, Hugh, according to Hugh Richard on YouTube, I could put some uh, dwarf French beans in here, but I... I'll have plenty at home, to be honest, so I'm not going to bother. What I'll probably put in here is a green manure uh, to let that grow and keep this patch covered, put some goodness back into the soil and uh, ready for next year. Because obviously next year I'll be planting garlic again. Uh, when I say next year, it'll be the end of this year because I usually plant in October. So um, I'll show a little bit of real-time uh, film and then I'll switch it over to time lapse. Right, see you in a bit. Bye for now. Okay, everybody, so uh, just seeing a bit of real time and time lapse video. So the garlic is out. Uh, I have, uh, did I count them? Yes, 48. 48 bulbs. Uh, some are a little bit smaller than the others. That's not a bad size considering. Uh, yeah, and it was surprisingly, it was, after all this time without any water, surprisingly damp underneath 
I've tried to disturb, obviously I try and practice no dig as much as possible but it's inevitably going to disturb the soil so I'm just going to walk on this now just to settle it down a bit and then uh, perhaps later on this evening I'll come over and dig all the weed out ready then for planting uh, the green manure but I'm going to wait the weather's going to turn this weekend I think so I'm going to wait till the weekend because there's no point in putting seed into dry soil right so next year then um, you may have seen from the previous videos that I had a double row so far and then a single row after that so I'm hoping to get a double row all the way up um, here so I'm hoping um, if I can get three rows in a bed here that will give me a row to use as green garlic uh, and by that I mean pulling the garlic you know before it's at that stage so uh, use the whole plant leaves uh, and all so I'll give that a go next year so uh, I, I have written it down how many clothes per row somewhere <laughs> uh, so but I can I can work it out if I haven't it's, you know they're about four inches apart something like that so there we are that's all I'm gonna do at this time of day so I'll come down later this evening when it's a bit cooler do a bit of weeding right let's get this lot home and then uh, cup of tea and uh, I think that's it for now um, oh one other thing I've done now I've I've stopped harvesting the asparagus and I've tied, bought some new uh, some string UV resistant apparently from uh, Screwfix this is uh, Either six or eight mil, I'm not quite sure. It's just to support this row of um, asparagus when it, you know, as you can see. This, this side, I'm not going to worry too much because at the end of the season, I'll be digging these up, transplant them into the spaces here, and then taking some home so I can free up a bed. Because frankly, a whole bed of this is more than enough for my needs. And if I propagate it at home as well, do you know what? That'll be more than enough. So, uh, yeah. There we are, but as I say, it's heckish dry, and I just have all run out of all the water now. I've, I don't, I don't can't remember if I did show you that I've daisy chained these water bits now, but that's what I've done. They're all there's one or two got a little bit of water left, but not much, you know, not worth worrying about. So, uh, just went for the rain to fill them up. Sweet corn seems to be coming okay, yes, they'll. Uh, if I get a drop of rain now, it'll, it'll shoot up. Okay, I think that's enough. So I'm hoping you're all enjoying the sunny weather. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.